All right, guys, in this video, let's get started by setting up Storybook in our React application. Now, first thing I have to mention is that I have created a new React project using Create React App. So go ahead and run the command npx create React App followed by your project name. I have named the project as React Storybook Demo. Now let's install Storybook in our React application. In the terminal, within the project folder, run the command npx p at storybook slash cli space sb space init. The command detects that we are running a create react app project and installs the necessary dependencies and creates new files. Let's take a look at the changes that were done. In the package.json file, you can see that we have new dev dependencies installed. Storybook is required only during development. Hence, all the dependencies are dev dependencies. We have React Storybook version 5.3, a preset for Create React App, and a few add-on packages. These add-ons are basically additional features for our Storybook, which we will learn later on in the series. Apart from the dev dependencies, two scripts also get added. One to run Storybook in dev mode, and the other to build it for production. Next, we have the yarn lock file changes, which we can ignore. After that, we have the main.js file. So at the top level, within the project folder, the storybook init command creates a storybook folder. This folder pretty much will contain any configuration that you want to add to your storybook. For now, we just have the one file, which is main.js. We export an object with two properties. The first one is stories. This basically indicates that all files within the source folder that end with the extension .stories.js have to be treated as stories for our storybook app. And then we have an entry for the add-ons that were installed as well. Again, we will talk about add-ons later on in the series. The final part that the storybook init command does is create a folder called stories within the source folder. And within the stories folder, it creates two files. Welcome.stories.js and button.stories.js. If I open one of them, you can see that we have a few import statements and a React component, which basically returns some JSX. This is what we call a story in our storybook. We will learn how to create a story in the next video, but right now we are ready to run our storybook app. So in the terminal, Run the command yarn storybook. This will run the script that the init command added for us. In the browser, we should be able to see our storybook app. On the left hand side, we have two entries in the side nav. These correspond to the two stories that were created for us. In the button story, you can see that we export two components, text and emoji. The same are present under the button story, text and emoji. Nothing too fancy in the code, but to be able to isolate the code and visualize it makes all the difference. You can pretty much create stories for all the presentation components in your app. This makes team development and collaboration much more effective. Throughout the series, we will be focusing on only two things, writing code in VS Code and visually seeing that in the Storybook browser app. There are a few elements in the UI as well, as you can see, and we will talk about them as we progress through the series. 
but this is pretty much a basic storybook app. In the next video, let's learn how to create a story from scratch. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.